assistance, his guidance, and his forgiveness. I seek refuge with Allah from the evil within us and our bad deeds. The one who Allah guides will have no one capable of leading him astray. And the one who Allah does not guide will have no one capable of directing him to the straight path. I bear witness that there is no God worthy of worship, but Allah alone with no partners. And I bear witness that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. And let it be known that the best of words are in the book of Allah, and the best of guidance are the teachings of Prophet Muhammad. And the worst of actions are the innovations in the religion. And every innovation is a misguidance. And every misguidance leads to the hellfire. The Almighty Allah in His infinite mercy protect us from hellfire. O you who believe, fear Allah as He should be feared. And die not except in a state of Islam with total submission to the will and the commandments of Allah. Once again, we thank Allah who ordered us to maintain the younger ones and guide them right. Allah the Most High said, وَذْكُرْ فِي الْكِتَابِ إِسْمَائِيلِ إِنَّهُ كَانَ صَادِقَ الْوَعْدِ وَكَانَ رَسُولَ النَّبِيَّةِ A mention in the book, in the glorious Quran, Prophet Ismail, peace be upon him. He was a true to what he promised. He always fulfilled his promise. And he was a messenger and a prophet. And he used to enjoy in his, in his family a salat, the prayers, and the zakat. And his Lord was pleased with him. This is from Surah to Maryam, Quran chapter 19, verse 50, 54 to 55. Allah ordered us to raise our children with good values education and prayers Allah the Most High said wa amur ahlaka bis salati wastabir alayha and enjoy salat prayers on your family and be patient in offering them command your children your family to offer the five daily prayers in congregation and this is from Quran chapter 20 verse 132 and I once again be a witness that Muhammad is his servant and messenger. He explained the responsibilities of parents towards their children. The messenger of Allah said, Allah asks every shepherd about what he entrusted with. Meaning, Allah will question everyone who is responsible about his charge. He preserved it or lost. He preserved it or not. And this is from Sahih ibn Hibban, hadith number 4492, as well as a silsila sahiha hadith number 1636. Not all parents, but many among the parents are not aware that their children have right over them, which should not, should not be neglected by all means. Good education and pure discipline are among the most important role parents must preserve. The parents must discipline their children as it is one of their rights and how? By giving them both religious and bookish knowledge. Or you said by giving them religious and worldly knowledge. And that is the Western education. On the authority of Abdullah ibn Abbas, one of the companions, may Allah be pleased with him. He said, The messenger of Allah, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, said, The best of you, the best among you, is the one who gives a good education, intellectual and moral education to his children. 
is the best among you. Respected brothers and sisters in Islam, children are a great blessing from Allah to people and a gift. In Islam, children are a great blessing and a gift from Almighty Allah. For that, their lives fill with joy and happiness. So that is why the topic of today's sermon is centered on celebrating Children's Day and the children's rights in Islam. Because most of the parents, instead of them to fulfill their responsibilities, they went on so many celebrations which are baseless in Islam. So the child will know how to interact, how to approach, how to eat, etc. The messenger of Allah, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, was once with Abdullah ibn Abbas. He said, Ya Gulam, Sammi Allah, Wa kul bi yaminika, Wa kul mimma yalika. He said, O oh boy, O oh child, Allah is called. Meaning, mention the name of Allah when eating. Mention the name of Allah when eating. Wa kul bi yaminika, And eat with your right hand. Wa kul mimma yalika. And eat of the dish, what is nearer to you. This hadith is from Sahih Muslim, hadith number 2022. And also Sahih Ibn Majah, hadith number 2662. So by this moral upbringing, the boy also knows the way to speak with others, especially the elders and the leaders. And teaches him honesty so that they may not be corrupted under the influence of undesirable suggestions from bad friends. May Almighty Allah protect our children. In Islam, Almighty Allah commanded us to give honor, respect, and obey our parents in the entire life, except when it comes to disobedience to Almighty Allah. So for the parent to deserve the above mention, the children's right over their parents must be fulfilled. And the bad behavior of our children towards us today is one of the consequences of our negligence. We give them freedom with no restrictions. They can do whatever they feel like. And we harvest the result of our actions because that is now that is not how our parents raise us we love our children so much that we cannot even talk to them we cannot tell them the truth we cannot face them we are always complaining children of today who raised the children of today who turned them to what they are let us be sincere with ourselves. We are just deceiving ourselves. The bad behavior of our children towards us today is one of the consequences of our negligence. Either you like it or not, or not. Accept it or not. So the rights of children are a trust in the necks of parents, upon their parents. It's a trust upon their parents. Allah the Most High said, Inna aradna al amanata ala samawati wal ardi wal jibal, fa abayna an yahamilnaha, wa ashfakana minha, wa hamalaha al insan. Truly, we did offer al amana the trust, moral responsibility, honesty, and all the duties which Allah has ordained to the heavens. And the earth and the mountains. But they declined not to bear it. And then we are afraid of it. The heavens and the earth and the mountains. We are afraid of Allah's torment. But man, insan. But man bore it. 
Allah the Most High said, Verily, he was unjust to himself and ignorant of its result, ignorant of the consequences. This is from Surah Al Ahzab, Quran chapter 34, verse 72. The parents are the ones entrusted to them to raise their children, and therefore they are considered to be largely responsible for the behavior of their children, right or wrong. They are largely responsible. Instead of them to stand firm towards the children, towards those uh, responsibilities and fulfill them, they decide to go and celebrating Children's Day. Look at yesterday. Some parents, they took their children to park, to dance. To them, they think as if they are making progress. And that is how to make children happy. This is another sickness of ignorance. Jahiliya. When someone is not educated in Islam, just behave as, he, as he, he, he is. As just copy from Christians, from the Western life. We are Muslims. We have our Sharia. We have the rules. Instead of them to stand firm towards those responsibilities and fulfill them, they decide to go on celebrating Children's Day, some birthdays. Wasting time and energy, spending a lot of money, and on the process, they are destroying their children's future and their moral upbringing. They destroy their atarbiya. No celebrations of bad days in Islam. Bad day is bid'a, it's an innovation. No celebrations of Children's Day in Islam. All are bid'a, are prohibited. More especially those who take their children to park for them to dance. To dance. And that is why the right of children in Islam is, di is divided by the scholars into two parts. The first section, what precedes the existence of the child. And the second section is what is after the child's existence. And this is another topic that, that needs to be discussed in another khutbah, inshallah. Brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah the Most High held parents responsible for the children for, for the child before the boy existed and held them responsible for his upbringing and care and the implementation of his right of, after his presence. You can bear children as much as you want. It's allowed in Islam. Some are saying you, only, you can only born a child, a, 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 a child one or two, uh, maximum three. You can bear children as much as you want, but do not send them or any one of them to beg in, in the name of learning Quran. We have, we, we have been discussing this, the issue of uh, al-majri, you call it, or the issue of uh, uh, begging. Begging has no basis in Islam, it's not Islam. The issue of al-majri school will never solve the problem. All we need for parents to stand firm towards their responsibilities. Your child is your child. You are the one responsible to feed him, to clothe him, take him to school, train him, give him moral. That is a good upbringing. But you send him to beg. Even this morning, I was speaking to some children. So where are you going? They say we, we, we are going to pick some, 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 some things. Where are your parents? Said he went out. This begging, al-majiri system has nothing to do with Islam. Has nothing, has no, it's not related to Islam. Everyone should train his child. We have an Islamic school where you can take your child to have, to acquire knowledge. The, both the Islamic and the Western education without sending him to begging. But some are attaching begging to our religion. And this system is only practiced by House of Fulani. Sorry to say, but it's the truth. It's only practiced by House of Fulani. We still have other Muslims. Why their children are not begging? Why are, uh, are they not begging? Are they not Muslims? What, what, what do you have to say about their Islam? 
And among them, there are scholars. There are learned people among them, and they are not begging. Then why do you have to beg? We have scholars of Quran all over the globe, all, all over, everywhere in the world. But it's only a house of Allah that are begging, and they attach it to religion. If you said no, they said you are the enemy of Quran. Once you said this is not right, you said that you are the enemy of Quran. So you want to eradicate the knowledge of Quran among the Ummah. And if you see what the children are doing along the streets, you, 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 you see it's something very disgusting. It's not right. Sometimes I don't even want to say it. But I have to say it. Because I want us to, to, to at least to believe that this religion has nothing to do with, with, with begging. We are not beggars, as others are calling us beggars. We are not. We are Muslims. As I'm standing here before you, I have more than 30 children. More than 30 children. And they are all my children, and none of them begging. No. They are all in school. Yes. They said you, you wear your, your clothes according to your size. It's not that I must take them to an expensive school. But I'm trying my best. None of them are out of school. They are all going to school. And I'm still counting. I'm still counting because I want like 100 or even more than that. Yes. Why do we have to beg? Begging has nothing to do with Islam. The children's rights over their parents are set out in the glorious Quran and the purified Sunnah of Prophet Muhammad. In many places, in the Quran and the Sunnah, Allah the Most High said, Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu ku anfusakum wa ahalikum nara. All you who believe, what of yourselves and your families? Protect yourselves and your families against a fire. Wakudu hannas wal hijara. Who's foil? Is people, is men and stones. And this is Quran chapter 66, verse 6. In this noble verse, the truth, the Most High guides his glorified servants to protect themselves and their families from the fire. And one of the methods of this protection is to carry out their rights and help them in righteousness. By only calling on the parents instead of celebrations, spending money for no reason, spend that money to train your child, support the orphans, do the needful, do the right thing. May Almighty Allah show his mercy upon us. May Almighty Allah guide us right and our children. This is all we can take, uh, brothers and sisters.